Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, November 10th, 2023. Well, how about that? We made it to Friday. It's been a weird week here in the market. Yesterday, I suggested there might be a possibility that we could keep this rally going into the end of the week, and um, the market decided, nope, that's not going to be the case. Actually, it was Jerome Powell that said, nope, that's not going to be the case when he came out and said, well, he's not confident that they're done with bringing inflation down. And that sent the market reeling. We also had a little bit of a of a uh, issue in the market when one of the well, when the thirty year bond auction, there was an attempt of a ransomware uh, attack on the bond system. So that also created some volatility. This morning, kind of an interesting situation. Asian markets are down across the board as a result of Powell's comments. European markets this morning down across the board, decidedly down across the board, due to Jerome Powell's comments. But here in the United States, the Dow futures are green, and we have a couple of other, uh, uh, just a very light pullbacks in the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. Interesting uh, market response. Um, we're still trying to convince ourselves that we know more than what the Fed knows here in the market. Let's take a look. We also have oil prices uh, moving back higher this morning. A little bit of a push up. Um, not a big push, but they are pushing higher. And we have bond yields higher this morning. Our two-year bond is at 5.03% once again. Climbed up pretty sharply um, yesterday after those comments. The five-year bond is at 4.65%. Our 10-year bond is at 4.64%. Only two basis points down in the last 30 days now. And the 30-year bonds are um, at 4.78%. So kind of an increase in those bonds, a little bit of worry coming back in to the market based on those Powell comments that they may still have to keep pressure on the market to bring inflation down. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we try to shake off our bias? Let's look at these charts as closely as we can in the price action and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, taking a look at the diamonds, we had a pretty ugly rejection here of this major resistance area in the chart yesterday. Um, as you can see in the pre-market, we're trying to bounce some of that or take some of that back and bounce it back up. But obviously, um, kind of an ugly bearish um, engulfing pattern. Uh, as a general rule, bearish engulfing patterns will suggest that we get a follow through to the downside. This morning, they're trying to reject that and push us back up in the pre-market. So keep an eye on that. Um, anything is possible here. If the bulls do find inspiration here today, then look for a press right up into here to retest that resistance in the chart and maybe continue that consolidation. If the bears were to find inspiration here today, well, watch this, the low of yesterday. If that were to break, then I'm suggesting we could easily see um, a push back down to fill this gap um, to this next candle. Whether we go past that, I don't know, but watch um, watch that area, maybe fill that gap, and maybe we still hold in this general area of the chart. What we're trying to do at the moment, you can see this downtrend line here in the diamonds. What we're attempting to do is hold on to that downtrend line here with this little pop this morning. We'll see if that'll be successful or not. Remember, if we were to fail down through this gap, well, the next place lower is going to be 
this support area here in the chart. So watch carefully for that if the bears do get going. If the bulls can break through this resistance, then of course, as I said yesterday, that possibility that we move up here into some of these next resistance levels of the chart. If we take a look at our moving averages, we're hovering just above our 50 day and 200 day moving averages. And I gotta tell you, I think the odds are that um, we'll find a way somehow um, here this morning that we're gonna test those areas here in the market to test that support. Um, that is just a, a, a common practice for the market to do, to come back and recheck those averages. The question will be is if we were to push through them, that would raise a little bit of concern um, in the market if we were to fail back through that area. So uh, yeah, just keep a close eye on that today. Let's take a peek at our SPY. SPY also pushing lower here this morning after that bearish engulfing. And you can see that possibility that we will test that 50 day moving average here in the chart on the S&P 500, and then maybe even slip down into this gap, filling that first gap in the chart. That's about all I would suggest. And notice there's a little bit of price support in here as well across that same area of the chart. So perhaps we hold in there on a Friday. Um, you never know um, if we were to slip on beyond that, if the bears really get inspired, well, then of course that gets pretty ugly because we could see some really big price moves pushing us back down, maybe recapturing the bottom of that candle in the chart. If the bulls can continue to find inspiration here today and bounce off of that 50 day, then of course we'd look for a retest up here into that resistance of the chart see if we can bounce on through there and if we can then we're probably pushing on up higher here in the chart and uh, literally attacking that downtrend once again um, to see if we can pop through there let's take a look at our qqq our nasdaq well it has been the strongest of the indexes if i take a look at those moving averages over here on that chart you can see that uh, or excuse me my drawings over here we pushed up through that downtrend right here in the chart we tested this major resistance ended up with a bearish engulfing candle yesterday and we are pushing back down toward this uh, trend break to see if we can hold that area as support. You'll notice in here that we really don't have um, any of those big gaps like we do in the other indexes. This was just all an effort to push up by big tech, kept that market moving to the upside. So the question today is if the bears find that inspiration, will they push us back down through that trend break? Um, and we'll start looking for some support areas in the chart, perhaps the bottom of that candle, something like that to uh, find a little bit of price support in that chart. If the bulls, however, find that inspiration today to continue to push to the upside and we bounce off of some of these support levels in here, then look for a retest of this resistance right in here and then perhaps a break and we would come straight up into this area of the chart. Um, looking at those um, moving averages here in the chart, you can see we're a long ways away from our uh, 50 day moving average. So it would, it would take that pretty substantial break and again, pushing us back down toward that low of that candle in this support over here that would um, test that 50 day moving average. And although that seems like, boy, that's an awful big stretch. I do think it is possible just simply because we, we have stretched the QQQ so far in this rally and now we're finding out, well, maybe, maybe um, it's not just all systems go and the Fed's gonna start getting all warm and fuzzy about, uh, about inflation. Doesn't appear to be that situation um, uh, in the market. Let's take a look at um, our IWM. Now IWM um, served me really well and of course I had a little bit of bias on this. I closed a trade on this yesterday for a very, very nice profit. Um, looking, uh, had some puts on IWM, still the weakest of the index um, out there and obviously uh, very, very bearish overall. If we take a look here, we couldn't quite make it up here to this downtrend line in the chart. We didn't quite make it up here to this resistance area 
in the chart and then those sellers came back in and we've pushed down below this very very steep sell-off uh, area here and we're testing this area to see if we can hold it as support now i think there is a possibility we could hold this as a, as a support notice we've got some price action in here possibly that candle low and these lows down in here to potentially hold if those were to fail however if the bears really were to push on through those levels then you could really see it's it wouldn't be that big of a stretch to see that we're retesting the lows here in iwm and iwm has just been absolutely unimpressed all along and that's just simply because there's no big techs in um, the russell and um, it has been predominantly the big techs that have made this rally occur now uh, keeping a close eye on this if the bulls can find inspiration here then maybe we start pushing back up and maybe attack this big old ugly black candle here see if we can break back through this price resistance here in the chart and if we can maybe push up into here for that next resistance level. So IWM, the Russell, is struggling here quite a bit. And um, well, it's just not a happy chart um, at the moment. Mo looking at the moving averages, as you can see, um, we continue to um, fail at our 50-day moving average uh, back down through a 34 or 20. So pretty ugly here. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX, a um, little bounce yesterday, but honestly not as much as you would kind of expect with the look of fear that we had in the market yesterday. And trying to hold this support level here in the chart, that's giving the bears a little bit of encouragement that they can push uh, possibly a little bit more. And then we'll start looking to attack some of these res other resistance levels in the chart if those uh, bears continue to um, find inspiration here and pushing up through there. If the bears, however, um, can't get that um, inspiration and the bulls uh, come back in and, and push this market back up, we'll look for a retest of this low down here. See if they can hold that and maybe even break it um, going into the weekend. Um, we'll see. I think there's probably a little bit better chance at the moment that we hold in this area or even move a little bit higher um, with the current sentiment of the market. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122, well that kind of um, broke us back down yesterday. We saw that selling come in and we put this little funky little twist in uh, the T2122, pushing us down here around 26%. So if the bears continue to push this morning, then there is that possibility that we could push right back down here into that bearish reversal zone. Now the good news is, because of big tech being so strong, we've had most of the market pulling back, moving down, but big tech has held these indexes higher. So the good news is, if we push down here into the bearish reversal zone, we still have our indexes in really, really good shape for a higher low to bounce on higher. So um, I think this is a um, uh, actually a pretty good situ situation where we needed to relieve that uh, buy pressure. We've kind of done it all at once and we still see that opportunity that higher lows could be put um, in the market and that's what we need for a bullish move. Um, so the four week new high, new low, Possibly we may push down into here if we get some kind of a bounce. Look for that relief back here if the bulls have inspiration and they've got plenty of upside. If they do, um, not quite as much downside left in T2122. T2108. Well, found a little bit of selling here and we have that little crooked, crooked move in here as well, pushing back down. But, you know, I don't think it's all that bad. We did give up this um, area of support right through here, um, selling off below that. But you'll want to notice that we have a pretty strong level of price support down in here. And we're close to reaching that area, a little bit more selling. We might test that area and bounce off of it. We also have this little trend break right in here that could potentially be tested if the bears really got pushing to the downside. But 38 
0.66% uh, of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average, not terrible um, overall. And if we can use hold these support areas, once again, it's putting in those higher lows in the market. If the bulls can bounce that, and push us back up. Our uh, T2107, well, T2107 um, just wasn't impressed yesterday and continued to push down. And unfortunately here in the T2107, we don't have a whole lot of support underneath this. Um, we broke this area of price support yesterday, not so much that we couldn't just bounce right back, but if we continue to see that selling here in the market, you know, little teeny tiny hook right there that could help us. And um, then we're back down here at the recent lows. And looking at the IWM, I think you could see that the, the, the recent lows could certainly be a possibility um, here in the market. So watch that. We do have also that hope that we brought that downtrend break right in here that we can catch a little price support in there for the bulls and bounce back up. Watch that carefully. Um, I don't think this is terrible either because we haven't made the lows yet and we're, uh, our T2122 is pushing back down toward the bearish reversal zone, or excuse me, bullish reversal zone where we have that potential of higher lows being placed in the market and that bounce, a little bit of relief. Let's take a look at our uh, T2101. Here, unfortunately, or maybe you see this as fortunately, um, because we um, saw that breadth pull back yesterday, the momentum of the market pulled back. So the good news on that with the bears coming in, you'll notice that although the breadth pulled back, the breadth was not strong enough to um, reverse back to the upside on that bearish wave. So that in a way is a bullish thing for the market to be paying attention to. We didn't have that big bearish um, um, breadth action. Um, it's possible it could show up today. But we also want to make note that the bullish side of that move, uh, well, we just kind of sank a little bit there on that market breadth, um, showing that lack of enthusiasm. And we've been seeing that in the volume of the charts here lately. Um, as we've been trying to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze to the upside, the volume has been dropping pretty dramatically. So we'll want to watch that carefully heading into the weekend and maybe some of that uncertainty into the weekend. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar, well, we've got a few things to be paying attention to. We're going to be seeing a couple more Fed speakers here this morning. We've got a consumer sentiment number, and unfortunately, they're suggesting um, in the um, uh, consensus that sentiment could actually slip just a little tiny bit. So uh, we know the consumers aren't very happy. Credit card debts are at new record highs and um, it's possible um, uh, that that number could be um, one of the important drivers of the morning. Um, we've got Baker Hughes rig count coming out and then the treasury statement later on probably won't matter much on that one. If we look at our earnings calendar, well, you know what, guys, I can cover the earnings calendar um, uh, things today. I think I've got time. Um, STNE um, reporting today, and that's the only notable for the day. So <laughs> we're in pretty good shape on the earnings, but unfortunately, that's not going to provide a whole lot of inspiration for the market. Um, we're uh, we're kind of running through our uh, big earnings and enthusiasm here pretty quickly. There's been quite a um, quite a mix of uh, data here, um, and um, that's really our only major notable. If you uh, follow uh, Plug Power, oof, holy moly, that got hit hard last night, uh, dropping hard here. So um, yeah, um, not just not just a super number of notables here to be paying attention to overall. So uh, for today, um, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this uh, favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be also click that thumbs up button, 
leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Remember, even an emoji counts as a um, reaction to the video. So thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. And uh, for those folks who share these videos out on your, your social media feed, thank you so very much. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market. You know, going into Friday, we have some uncertainty, of course, with the, the two wars going on. That always adds in that uncertainty. And next week, we're going to be getting figures. Oh, we got a CPI number and a PPI number coming in next week. Um, so more inflation data. And that's probably going to give the market just a little bit of uncertainty going into the weekend. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. But when we're looking at these stocks that could be setting up, just remember to do your due diligence. Make sure you follow your trading rules and your tr trading plan and make sure that um, the trade fits you. Don't ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Um, let's take a look at a few stocks that I think have some potential. Take a look at Wayfair here. Boy, doggone it. Wayfair. Um, had this opportunity yesterday to uh, to hold this higher low in here and then yesterday selling came in boom breaks that back down so um, this thing uh, breaking the support in here uh, I'm gonna have to wait on this now I was hoping this was breaking that downturn we're seeing a lot of these um, retailers um, showing some pretty good signs but now we're looking like Wayfair could test some of these lows down in here and even make new lows here on um, on this move um, overall not very happy here in Wayfair this morning take a look at Lowe's now Lowe's was also trying to make that move to the upside and yesterday kind of well, brought those bears back in, pushing us down with the thoughts of more interest rates here in the chart. So here again, we have a potential where this is failing and that possibility we could move on lower here might be something to consider for a potential short trade. Looking across some other charts, uh, Chewy was also trying to set up to this upside move and doggone it, we were failing this support, but not so much that I would um, I think there's still a chance in here on Chewy that we could bounce right back up in here, hold, and then continue on higher. So keep Chewy on your watch list. I think it's worth keeping an eye on. Um, Mickey D's is still holding in here pretty nice. We looked at this yesterday. Got to admit that yesterday's pullback brought in a little bit of that bearishness here. But I think as long as we hold above this support area and kind of hold on to this trend in the chart that we're um, we've got that chance that this could continue to move on higher and you can see we got a little bullishness happening here in the pre-market on old Mickey D's you may want to take a look at um, what's been going on here in the currencies we I told you that the bond yields were moving up and of course that is inspiring some buying in the US dollar a strong dollar usually not good for the market and uh, for the bullishness of the market I should say and um, yesterday we had a nice surge in that dollar it may weaken a little bit today but keep an eye on that because that is having some interesting effects we saw in the selling yesterday we saw gold get a nice uh, pop to the upside still holding on to this price support and now this morning it's reversing trying to say no uh, we didn't mean it um, not so good here as the dollar um, strengthens so keep a close eye on that I think there is a chance gold could slip this big support area here in the chart if that dollar continues to show strength what is interesting though if we look at um, um, GDXJ, some of the junior miners, we continue to try and build out this inverted head and shoulders pattern and we're still holding on to this little support area. But boy, if gold really starts to sink here with the strengthening dollar, um, I'm, I'm thinking this pattern could break apart and that fail here in 
um, GDXJ. So yeah, keep a close eye on that. Um, as far as the big tech giants go, uh, take a look at AMD. AMD acted yesterday, certainly pulled back from its high, but acted like wasn't really concerned at all here um, in what was going on. And um, after such a strong move to the upside, we do need a rest or pullback anyway. Come back in here into support or maybe a little bit lower into this support. And then I would look for those next opportunities to the upside. And we can say that about a lot of the big techs right now. Um, they got a little bit of selling in there. Um, and um, but there is nothing, uh, there's nothing that suggests they are bearish. You can see here on uh, NVIDIA, a uh, big old shooting star pattern up here, maybe following through this morning, pulling back. But um, I would look for those next opportunities. If you're into, you know, the, can these high flyers, then watch carefully. If we can find some support in here, then I would look for that next opportunity for those to move on higher in the chart. Maybe we come a little bit lower, find that support down in here, but just keep a close eye on it. There's uh, some pretty good opportunities out there in the market. So um, when we take a look at some of those discount retailers here in the market, they all got a little bit um, thumped on yesterday, but not so bad as to really make me think, gosh, we, we should be running uh, running and, and protecting ourselves here in these charts, they're still holding in there pretty well. So some of the discount retailers still holding up nicely and I would look for that opportunity for those to potentially move on higher. You can see Macy's is not one of those. It got hammered hard back to the downside. But when we look at um, stocks like Five Below, yeah, a little bit of selling there yesterday, but I don't see this as bad. Um, kind of holding in here, possibly a little trend right through here, just kind of resting out. And we would look for that next opportunity to the upside on some of those discount retailers if the bulls step back in. So with that, everyone, I'm running this video a bit long this morning. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Just as a reminder, it is a Friday, so it's a no blog Friday. That gave me some extra time on the video here today. So um, if you um, go to the blog, it'll just take you directly to this video this morning. Everyone have an awesome day. Have a great weekend. I want to wish uh, all the best for you and your family. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning for another week of exciting inflation data. Woohoo! Have a good one, everyone.